of Rome from world to world assisting wise rulers by the dragon's decree. Whenever a new king is in need of strength, Yun Zhao traverses space and time to remove all obstacles and enemies before the king using spear fighting techniques endowed upon him by the great dragon. What is up guys, it's Sobash, welcome back. We are taking a look at Yun Zhao's new skin. This is going to be coming out probably in one of the next coming updates. I have no confirmation on this whatsoever. This is just speculation, but this is pretty amazing. The graphics on this skin, they do look a lot better than this one here because it's just more defined. It seems like it's not as good as alpha it seems, but hey, it does look a lot better. I do like the back of it to where it looks like he has wings going up and they connect to the shoulders and it does go down the back of the cape as well. So that's pretty interesting. Now you probably have seen the same thing that I did when I first saw this, which was the brand new skills effect, which is right down there. And what are they changing? What, what's what's going to be brand new about the skill effects? Uh, his first skill he has, which is the spear flip, uh, it, it already just does a base of 300 damage, adds 30 damage every level, and then it lowers the target's movement speed by two. And that dissipates over 10 seconds. Now, what they could change on that, I'm not really sure to make him any different because um, the spear strike, it does kind of the same thing it's just a damaging ability it charges the target deals base 260 damage you add 25 more damage per level that you go up in physical defense and it lowers the target's movement speed for one and it also makes another immediate attack which that does increase the range of it as you level it up so spear strike i'm not sure what they could change on that because as you know, they've already changed the ultimate on him. Used to the ultimate gave him complete immunity from any slowdowns or stuns. They've removed the stun portion from it, but pretty much everything else has stayed the same. Cooldown on it once you max it out, just about like most of the other legends, the cooldown does get pretty quick. Now for the passive, that could be exactly what they want to change uh, and dragon flurry that's every six seconds your basic attacks will do a combo and hit the targets in front of them for multiple times now that does deal a total of 1.8 times basic physical attack so that is a lot and also if you hit enemies it takes 0.5 seconds off for every time you hit them with a regular attack so that is something they could have looked at changing. We're not sure. It's pure speculation. What do you think they are going to change on this, guys? Uh, do you think it's going to be something major? Everybody's got this character. You basically start the game with this, and he seems like one of the most underrated because this guy is super strong. The skin, I'm not sure what kind of stats are going to be added to it, but hey whatever they do add to it is going to be pretty amazing guys i want to thank you so much for watching this short video if you have any questions or if you have any speculation about this character as well feel free to leave them in the comments below and if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave us a like because it helps us out a lot here i want to thank you guys so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day